drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. And away we go for the autonomous mode. Let's see how it happens here. Looks like the Red Alliance is going to get a gear in place, as is the Blue Alliance this time. So they have definitely made some improvement on execution. As expected, the Red Alliance is using the uh, fuel to its advantage. The Red Alliance comes up with 13 units of pressure in the high efficiency boiler in the autonomous round. That's a pretty impressive number right there. Now, the sense of urgency is definitely higher uh, from what we saw last time. The Blue Alliance is working very, very hard to get those uh, propellers spinning, and they do. They get two propellers spinning, but looks like the Red Alliance is keeping right up with it, and they're continuing to stuff that fuel, uh, that boiler full of fuel. I love the Red Alliance's strategy of loading up right directly from the hopper and then picking up fuel on the way over to the boiler. And I'll tell you what, they've got their accuracy down. I would say that about 60 to 70% of that fuel is going in the funnel. And we've crested 30 units of pressure. Whoa, here we go on this side with the hopper. Now how are we doing propeller-wise? We've got two propellers rolling on either. And it looks like we're going to get a third propeller on the blue side. That's a pretty important step into the, uh, into the lead for the Blue Alliance. Focus on what you're good at and do that well. Oh, but the Red Alliance is coming right on back. Now they have two propellers, but it's the fuel. They're packing that fuel in and jumping out in front of the Blue Alliance. The game's not over, though, because it's not a huge lead. It's a lead that could easily be accounted for by getting robots up to the davits, and getting propellers flying. And coming on to 30 seconds remaining. Meanwhile, the uh, infinite loop just does what they do very well. Pack fuel into that boiler. Over on the blue side, we've got robots climbing the ropes. Now all three robots are heading up. And on the red side, we've got two davits already lit, but we have a robot that's struggling a little bit to get on. Oh, but boy, it climbed up quickly, lighting all three davits. So we've got we've got a rope. Now, officially, we have two robots up, but it looks to me like that third robot is there. We'll let the referees have a look at that and make sure that that's scored correctly. And we have people in the question box. So we got all kinds of stuff to make sure we iron out and get done correctly before we announce the winner. Meanwhile, the volunteers are so very efficiently cleaning the field off so that by the time we're ready to, re to uh, contest the next round, we'll be uh, nice and clean and ready to go. Now, the score differential looks to me like the red team has won again. However, we're not, uh, not, not going to call anything yet until the referees call it because they're talking to the teams to make sure that everything is understood and correct. Very important that we take the time to do this. It's worth noting, though, that the strategies remain pretty much the same for this second run of that first qualifying or the first uh, quarterfinal round, where Infinite Loop really helped its team out by just packing the fuel into that boiler. I'm so impressed with the accuracy. I don't think that I could reach up there and drop a ball into that boiler effectively if I were told I had to. All right, we are ready to announce the winners for this. Off go the flying machines, up go the flying machines, and across the finish line goes the Red Alliance. Congratulations once again to the Red Alliance. 
for a well-played and well-strategied